all that stuff to me is um, it, it really does bring to mind this incredible verse in the Bhagavad Gita where Krishna is revealing his true form to Arjun, who's like the warrior figure. And uh, this is Oppenheimer's quote. Mm-hmm. This is Oppenheimer's quote when he, that he said after the atomic bomb went off. Oppenheimer quoted this part of the Bhagavad Gita where he said, I have become death, the destroyer of worlds. But it doesn't stop there. Krishna is saying to Arjuna something along the lines of, look in my teeth. There you will see the everyone on this battlefield because I'm eating them right now. So this is like, <laughs> this is like Christian being like, Oh, you really want to see what I'm like? Cause they've just been friends hanging out and stuff. And he like suddenly became the force of all destruction in the known universe. And the point of the thing was, listen, all of this is already chewed up. It's already been devoured. It's already gone. Game over. You're done. No Kurzweil is going to get you new blood cells. It's going to keep. It's going to keep you alive. At some point, I will come to you wearing the costume of your death, and that is an inevitability. So just surrender to that, and you're going to be a lot less freaked out if you just accept that that's the way it is. Because if your war that you're engaged in right now is the war to live forever, if your war that you're engaged in right now is a war to try to make some lasting change in a universe that's defined by impermanence and change, then you're fighting the wrong war. There's a better war to fight, you know? And it's actually the way you fight it is by surrendering, not by fighting, by letting go and sinking into the actual hum of the universe, the way it really works, not the way you wish it worked, not the way that you were hoping that the universe worked, where, uh, you know, lions like and, and hyenas rescue little boys like you're in, like an ice age, but the, the cartoon, but the way it actually works, the way the universe actually works is everything comes into existence. It exists for a little while. And then it dies. That's- and m- most things come out of explosions. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't forget that. Yeah. Most things come out of big fucking blasts, <laughs> including the whole universe itself. Yes. Right. The whole universe itself is predicated upon a violent event. Yeah. yeah. It has to have a violent event. Right. That's the big right. bang. It couldn't be the, the, the slow expansion of beautiful life giving particles throughout the universe. No. Nope. It's a big fucking bang. <laughs> no, it was a big fucking bang. And it keeps and it keeps going. The big bang keeps going and is and but it's just like this, man. If you want to dig your heels in and sink your claws into the expanding universe and try to keep that fucking thing from expanding, you're going to get ripped apart. (laughs) That's just the way it works. But if you want to let go and merge into the thing, if you want to allow yourself the fantasy that you're not some individual with a social security number and a name and parents, but allow yourself the fantasy that you're 13.8 billion years old and you're part of this incredible ocean of happening instead of just this one individual and just let yourself experience that for a second the glorious knowledge that you are a never-ending ever-changing flow of matter that's temporarily manifested with the ability to express love into a dimension where things are supposed to be cooling off then that's a fun way to spend your time here before you end up getting eaten by a lion or have a heart attack or whatever happens